just do one do one and it's going to make a huge difference and you're going to notice a massive amount of bookings come through imagine giving your clients your photo or your video clients potential clients your pricing and they say okay let's do it let's go i think it's easier way easier than what people make it to be so i'm going to go over four different ways that you could present your prices to your clients you don't have to do all four you don't even have to do three or two of them just do one do one and it's going to make a huge difference and you're going to notice a massive amount of bookings come through so i'm not even saying like 10 percent. i'm saying like 40 or 50 percent more sometimes even 100 percent more so that's like you book five you're going to book 10. if the camera is a little bit shaky today we're using this camera and then also my godson he's like this small but if the camera's a little shaky it's his first time he's nervous and he's just a little boy and yes, I'm paying him. Yes, it's decent wages. Yes, it's Bernie Sanders approved wages. Enough is enough. Workers are entitled to dignity. But the content is going to be great. So if it's shaky, this is why. All right, let's get started. You're late, sir. You are nine minutes late. How's school? Good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> Awkward hug. How was Good. your day? Good. Good? How was your day? Good. Thanks for asking. Hi, Benji. How are you? Good. How are you? How was school? Good. Thank you for the videos from the YouTubers. Heck yeah. Benji, this is Eric. I'm here with your boy. Don't stop making videos. Benji, you are amazing. Gotta keep it going. What's up, Benji? It's Collins. I'm here with your dad right now. You tell them about your channel to stop motion. Guess What's what, people? What's I have up? a 4.0. Mic drop. Mic drop. Ready, Nathan? Can we go finally? Yeah. Let's go. Are you are you going to pay attention? Yeah. And we started the clock at what time? Four. At four o'clock. I'm not paying you for that disaster in the house. Okay. All right. It's called the real world. I've never been there. Yeah, I know. So I'm about to teach you hard work. Okay. All right. We're doing three YouTube videos today. Can you handle? Yeah. My godson, Nathan, my videographer today for the YouTube videos. It might be a little... <laughs> All right. Let's go. I'm recording a video. Here we go. The first thing I want you to do is realize people don't like being cornered. People don't like, actually no, not even people. Animals don't like being cornered. Babies don't like being cornered. Adults, nobody. So when you give a client, here you go. Here's your my pricing. Even though they ask for your price, if you give them one, even though they ask for it, if you give them one, it's not gonna sit that well with them psychologically. So what you wanna do to reverse this is give them three options. It's so easy. So the options should be something very low, something medium, and then something high. It also allows them to have a conversation and go, oh, look at that. He or she is presenting me something really low. I love that. He or she is presenting me something like right at the budget that I was hoping for. Or, you know what? They also offer this really great package that has a lot. I'm going to kill you if you keep making those faces in the background, Nathan. So that's the thing, when you offer three, they're gonna feel way, way, way less constricted, less cornered, and that always works for a better situation. Three options is the first tip. Let's go for a walk because it's a little bit loud. Let's do option number two that's gonna help bring your bookings up. All right, let's go. Cut. Are you seriously massaging yourself? Yeah, my arm hurts. We've done one take. I'm sorry. They're just, they've been sore like all day because I've been running a lot. All right, let's go. Okay, three, two, one. All right, so option number two, we have to get away from the traffic over there by the Starbucks. So now we're on the side. You have to be able to really walk your clients through your pricing packages. For you and for me, it's probably not that confusing. You're like, okay, obviously it's four hour package. Obviously it's 300 DPI. Obviously it's gonna be a digital package delivery and it's gonna be black and white and sepia and color. That's confusing for a lot of your clients. Or if you're doing video, this exact same thing. So there's a service that I really like. They have a free version called Loom. And of course there's a paid version too. I would just do the free one. There's something really cool about going in someone's home, going in someone's office. Once somebody trusts you inside of their house, they trust you so much more. They're willing to give you their money. They're willing to give you their trust. When you use Loom, 
what happens with Loom is records your desktop screen so you can put your prices on that. Then the front facing camera films you at the same time. So you could put it on like upper left or right corner, bottom left or right, and then you get to talk to them. This is what I mean by you get access into their home or you get access into their office. Now, if imagine you're sending somebody a pricing quote for a wedding, for example, they decide to open it, they decide to look at it and hear you talking, but they're sitting on their couch comfortable at home. Automatically, without them even deciding, they have decided to trust you a little bit more. Now let's go to point number three. We're gonna get some energy out of you. <laughs> Number three is, my gut sounds make me do this angle, but he's creative. So you wanna escort people. What I mean by escorting is basically calling them, letting them know that you sent the pricing packages. But if they need any kind of explanation, you'd be more than happy to walk them through it. That means you can be on the phone with them, you can be on FaceTime, or you're just available for them to call you during, before, or after, and just have a conversation with them about it. When the client feels that you're there, they like you more. They may not. Now, I'll tell you, of the three that I've shared so far, this is probably my least favorite because it's like the least amount of effort. But when you do that, what's gonna happen is they're just gonna like you more. They're gonna trust you more. If you're not able to guide them through Loom and you're on screen, then at least tell them, I would love to be able to talk to you on the phone while you're going through prices, that's an option. Or you can call me in the middle of it. If you guys have questions, I will be available. Or you can even call me afterwards and I'm happy to go through everything, just whatever you feel comfortable with. Or even if you wanna FaceTime, you'd be happy to talk to them and go through the pricing options with them. When the client feels, oh my gosh, this person actually is going to, okay, you're gonna hit your head. This photographer or this videographer is actually going to take care of us and walk us through every single step. You gotta understand that when it comes down to, uh, we're down to our favorite two people. I don't know if it's gonna do this one or this one. One of them is gonna say, but remember, remember he or she was willing to get on the phone with us, willing to talk to us about everything, willing to go on FaceTime with us. That's gonna help you stand apart. I want you guys to stand out amongst everybody else because it's easy to get a camera, it's easy to take a picture but making sure you're at the top of the pile, that's what takes the expertise. So I hope that this helps you. Let's actually go back, get my iPad and talk about point number four. So the fourth way that is pretty easy that you're gonna be able to book your clients much faster and a higher, greater percentage is that basically you are going to give them like a treasure map. And what I mean by a treasure map is a lot of times in, con in contracts, people become way too serious, way too legalese. I think that if you, don't want to talk on video or you feel that this client may not want to get on the phone and they're more of a private person, what you can do is create a very easy conversational form. So it would be like this. Page one would be a beautiful cover page. Page two would be two simple questions. And the simple questions would be, you just got your pricing form. What does this mean? You just got your proposal. What does this mean? and then you would write it down in another way. So what I mean really by a treasure map is that I want you to answer and ask questions for them because they may not wanna get on the phone with you. They may not wanna get on FaceTime. They may not wanna see your Loom or you don't wanna be on Loom. So one of the things that I always say is write down the questions that they may have like, okay, is this my final price? Is this negotiable? Can I add to this? Can I take away from this package? Or what other questions there might be? But instead of waiting for them to ask those questions, you're going to write those questions down on the proposal. And then you're also going to write a very easy conversational answer right below it. An example of that would be, okay, so this is my pricing proposal. What next? That's your question form right there. And your answer would be, go through this. Write down any questions you may have. Write down any concerns, any comments you may have, and then ask it in our phone session. It's really easy to get the client to feel that they're not alone, that they're with you, and that you care about them, and that you're escorting it through them. I also think you should watch this video. It's gonna help you out with your pricing. Thank you for putting up with a shaky video. We're doing our best. Everything around us is working against us, but we pulled through, right, Nathan? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you think, um, what was the hardest thing about running video? Yeah, I am. Uh, 
Yeah. Is that a problem? No. Okay. What was the hardest thing that you're like, oh my gosh, this is actually difficult? The beginning. Yeah, right? 